In Python, we have the sorted function, but we also have the dot sort method. And I briefly want to cover the difference and what that means for you. So I suppose, for example, we have this list here. We have some prints to do before and after. Let's first take a look at the sorted function. So if we say x is equal to, we'll then use sorted here and then pass in our list of numbers. Now hitting run, we can see our before and after are absolutely identical. So there's no difference here. But then let's go and take a look at x. So we can see x contains the actual sorted numbers, but the before and after are the same. That's because the sorted function doesn't do it in place. It takes in some sequence, it then returns a sorted list of that sequence. It doesn't affect the original in any way. So in this case here, if you wanted a sorted copy of your list, but wanted to maintain the original, sorted is going to be the way to go. Now, if we remove this here and then do nums.sort in the middle, running our code again, we can see the before and afters are this time actually different. And that is because dot sort, this is an in place method that belongs to the list class. So that's the key difference in this case. Sorted returns a brand new fresh copy. It leaves the original untouched, whereas the dot sort method that's going to directly modify your original list. So if you want to change your list for good and you're not too fussed about keeping the old state somewhere else, go for the dot sort method. One thing to note as well, dot sort, that's only for your lists. This is a method upon the list class. Sorted is a general purpose function. This can take in a few different types of inputs. It's not specifically tied to using lists only.